This video is from our full-length Northern Brewery University online course on malt, where we look at what malt is, how it and malt extract is made, and how homebrewers use it to make delicious beer. See full class link in the video's description. Before we talk about the four families of malt to show you how different malts can be from one another, we wanted to talk a little bit about malt color. Color is a very important descriptor for malts. You might be used to seeing the SRM scale used to describe beer color. Malt most often uses the older Lovabond scale, usually expressed in degrees Lovabond or just a number followed by Lovabond or the letter L for short. Generally speaking, there's an association between color and flavor. Lighter colored malts often have bready, grainy, or honey-like flavors, whereas darker malts tend to have rich, roasted, or even burnt flavors. That's a huge generalization though, and there's a great deal of nuance involved. We want to help you better understand how degrees Lovabond relates to color, flavor, and aroma. To do this, we took a cue from the lab professionals at RAR Technical Center and performed our own hot steep malt sensory evaluation for three malts. A hot steep is one method for analyzing a malt for color, flavor, and aroma, in which ground malt is steeped in hot water and slowly dripped through a fine filter. The resulting mini batch of wort gives you an idea of what the malt's characteristics are. For our hot steeps, we chose three malts. RAR 2 Row, which is about one and a half to two degrees lava bond. Weyermann Munich, around 8 degrees Lovabond, and Brees Caramel 80 at, well, 80 degrees Lovabond. I'd never done a steep test and found it extremely fascinating. The process is pretty simple using instructions from the American Society of Brewing Chemists, which we'll link in this lesson page. Measure 50 grams of the grain and pour it into a coffee grinder. Pulse the malt a few times until it's near the texture of flour. Pour the ground malt flour into an insulated flask and add 400 milliliters of 150 degree Fahrenheit water. Shake it firmly to get everything well incorporated. Let that mini mash steep for 15 minutes. When the time is up, give it a few swirls and carefully pour it into a coffee filter fitted in a funnel or pour over device and let it slowly drip into a flask or other vessel. As two row and Munich are base malts, their steeps were 100% of that single malt. However, based on instructions from the ASBC, when you do the steep test for specialty malts such as Caramel 80, you blend it 50-50 with a base malt. More on base and specialty malts in just a minute. As you can see, the results were very interesting. The two row at about two degrees Lova Bond was extremely pale, just a very light yellow or gold. Its flavor was subtle with light grainy notes. Surprisingly, the Munich at eight degrees Lova Bond was much darker than we expected for that small shift in Lova Bond degrees. Its flavor was notably more bready and toasty and richer on the palate. Our final sample, the C80, was way darker than the other two and sweeter. It had aromas and flavors similar to raisins or other dark fruits. Again, if you want to try doing this at home, we'll post a link to the video and instructions from the American Society of Brewing Chemists on this lesson page. What this test shows is that small changes in malt color can have a big effect on the resulting wort. Again, this lesson is part of our Northern Brewer University Ingredient Series class on malt. For more information on this course and all of our NBU courses, visit northernbrewer.com university or see the link in our video description.